Well, hi everybody. Welcome to Empress Moon Tarot 777. My name is Kimmy. Very happy to have you here on my channel today. Also, welcome to my home. I live in a studio apartment. I do my, my tarot readings by hand here behind me at the surface and record above. And uh, please ignore the weight equipment and the uh, rowing machine, my little fitness area. But I just wanted to welcome, welcome you both to the channel and here to my home for just a brief moment while I give you a couple of announcements. So we are just about a little bit over 500 people away from hitting 20,000 subscribers. I truly appreciate each and every one of you, including those of you that stop by the channel and don't subscribe. Always happy to have you here at the channel. So for those of you that, that have been watching for a while, I request that you do please be sure to like and comment these videos and share them with your friends if, if they may be of help to them as well. For those of you that are brand new to my channel, please click subscribe so that you'll be notified when new, new videos are uploaded and you can monitor when your signs are uploaded. So just a very brief, brief, brief announcement. Since we are close to that 20,000 subscribers, I have placed a $20 off coupon code for personal readings up on my website, empressmoontarot.com. The $20 off coupon code for the month of June is 20,200,000 subs, S-U-B-S. That will be active between now and June 30th. I hope it will be of help to you as well. Um, there's several different readings you can choose from up there as also. And a brief, brief, brief thank you, tremendous appreciation from the bottom of my heart to those of you that have ordered extended readings, personal readings, and donated to the channel. Truly appreciate those blessings, as well as those of you that have, have um, sent super chats during my live readings. Truly appreciate those blessings. Thank you so very much. You've helped me to make that transition to Tarot full-time and away from my other work, and I truly appreciate that. So um, without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started with the reading, but just one more brief announcement. These are general readings. Each of these readings is for a sun, moon, rising, and possibly Venus sign. If it turns out it's a love reading, it's for Venus sign as well. Please be sure to just only take what resonates. Don't try to force your situation to, to match the reading. Um, you know, and the things that don't resonate, just, you know, sweep it aside. Also, be sure to check your other birth chart placements to see if those might resonate with you more during this grouping of videos. So let's head on over to your reading and see what we've got for your sign. Have a wonderful day. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your June 2019 reading. Please keep in mind the energy can extend beyond the month and it can also occur at any point in time that you are drawn back to this reading. We have a concept of time, but spirit does not. So um, keep that in mind as well. So we're going to be using the eight coin tattoo tarot for you today, as well as the sacred traveler, wisdom of the oracle. Now the energy within those two oracle decks was extremely powerful, um, very much on fire. And so I think we're going to get a good message out of those. I can't wait to see. Romance Angels also for your Oracle cards. In the extended, I will be using the Marchetti Tarot as well as the Radiant Rider weight deck for clarifications. Now, however, we had some cards come out, two separate messages, so these will not be for everybody. I'm going to address them first uh, very quickly, and then we're going to move on to the June reading. Um, first, I'm going to address what came out with our Radiant Rider weight deck. We first had the King of Wands. King of Wands. This is somebody who is a, a very, very strong person, very stubborn, uh, very charismatic, very much uh, very social person. He's very good at communicating and does a great job of uniting people through communication. Uh, we often see this particular card being associated with the sign of Leo, as you can see Leo on here. Um, and not only Leo, but um, also the sign of Cancer. So this particular card is somebody who's just very, very strong-willed. And um, I'm sensing, I feel like this is a family issue. That's what, I've, what I intuitively got the moment these cards came out. 
Uh, I do feel that both of the people involved in this particular spread are definitely masculine or have a very masculine energy to them. So if you are in a same-sex relationship, this could apply to you. But what I'm sensing more is I'm, I'm sensing a grown son returning home, because we have the King of Pentacles here. Um, both of these two people had their backs turned to one another. The King of Pentacles is very resilient, very resourceful. He's kind of, uh, you know, the he's, he's a father figure, a husband type of, of person, somebody very, very stable, doesn't really get moved by whims and, and things of fancy. This is often um, represented by the sign of Virgo and also the sign of Leo. So here we have Leo represented twice, so it could be one person, but I'm really feeling, I feel like this is two different, two different men. I feel like we have an adult child and we have a parent. Now, for those of you that are in the United States, this could be occurring over the weekend because of Father's Day. But what I'm seeing is I'm seeing the adult son returning to repair the connection and the relationship with the father. Now, like I said, this could be this could be a same-sex relationship or a relationship in which two people are just have a very strong masculine energy. Um, but what I'm seeing is rejoicing and reconnecting and celebrating with family and friends. So immediately when these cards came out, I saw the grandson coming home, mending things with the father or vice versa, or two brothers. It could be two brothers as well, two adult brothers also. Um, mending things in order to repair that familial relationship. I don't sense that these are friends. I, I sense more that this is a family situation. But our Three of Cups does indicate reunion and rejoicing and celebrating. So I see two, three people, two people coming together in order to repair a relationship and it having a profound effect on the family unit. Whether that's two brothers or, or a father and a son. That's what I'm seeing. So that's the first message we got for Virgo. Now the second message we got, the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, let me move these over. Seven of Cups. Eight of Swords. Ten of Swords. Two of Pentacles. And the Hierophant. In this particular spread, what I'm seeing primarily, and I'm going to get, run this down very quickly because I'd like us to move on to our June message for the collective, but for whomever this resonates with. Virgo, I, I see you wanting to either achieve a goal or something of that nature. There's something that you want in your life. This could be a person, it could be a job, it could be financial reward, it could be anything, but it's something that's very near and dear to your heart. There's a warning here with this particular card. The warning is that the windows and the doors are open, and with the windows and doors open, there's the chance that if you take it for granted, you could lose it. And I feel that with this sense of anguish here that we're seeing with this Ten of Swords, that this is something that you have already lost. It feels as if it's something that you have already lost or you feel like you are losing. So this could be a person, this could be a job, you could be feeling just completely out of sorts. This Ten of Swords is when the mental anguish finally comes to a point where you can no longer handle it and you start to release some of those mental burdens in order to find some peace. So there's some situation in here that's near and dear to your heart that you're, you're really struggling with mentally. You may have been dealing with a lot of backlash from other people or had a lot of other things going on in your life and so there's just this general sense of unrest but it is going to be changing we have you moving forward to a point of confusion with our seven of cups here kind of trying to look at things through a rational perspective but preferring to look at things through rosy glasses um, you could find yourself tempted to you know, move in an entirely new direction in your life, but there's something out of balance, which is leaving you feeling as if, you know, you don't really have control of things in your life, Virgo, and that's a very difficult position for you to be in. 
because you like to have everything just so. You know, you're very, very specific in your regiment, your daily regiment, and the, the direction that you go in and the work that you do. So this is an uncomfortable place for you to be in with this two of two of pentacles here and this seven of cups. Confusion and feeling just completely out of balance. Moving forward, we have you fears and worries, fears and worries regarding a connection. This nine of cups could have, have could have to do with a marriage. You could be in a marriage that's suffering at the moment and, and having some struggles. It could also be with somebody that, that you're in a long-term relationship with or perhaps somebody that you would like to be in a long-term relationship with. But you're worried and afraid. Worried and afraid. So let's take a couple of quick cards on a potential outcome, and then we're going to move on to the main June. Potential outcome here with our Eight of Swords and Hierophant. There's our King of Wands again. King of Wands we just had. Eight of Swords. You're just going to... Hmm. Until you're able to get your confidence back and you're able to feel like you can boldly and courageously move forward with or without this person, this job, whatever this may be. Until you feel like you've got, got control of things going on in your life and, and that you are at a point where you can take action, you're going to remain in this Eight of Swords energy. Um, not really a good place for you to be, Virgo. Definitely, you need to work on your self-confidence. I'm not saying that, that you have a low self-esteem. I'm saying in this particular situation, you feel beaten down. And you need to find a way to harness that, um, harness that King of Wands energy, that boldness, that confidence. The directness. Passionate drive of the King of Wands. All right, Spirit, let's see what we've got for the collective Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for June 2019 and beyond. June 2019, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Virgo, 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 June. Oh, no. No more messages, Spirit. <laughs> We've had enough. Okay. Five of Wands. There may be some bickering and fighting going on between you and somebody else right now. Perhaps that's, that just came out for somebody who's going to be watching this as a definitive yes. This, <laughs> this reading is your reading. Okay. All right, Spirit, main message for the collective, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Okay, um, Virgo, interesting. My arm was just like shaking with your cards. Uh, it's possible that you may be dealing with some anxiety right now. So if you are dealing with some anxiety, since I pick up on future energies, I ask you to just take a quick little deep breath for me. Now we're going to continue on with the reading. Okay. And thank you in advance. All right. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. I'm liking that energy so far. Ooh, look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Wish we could stop there, Virgo, because that is amazingly beautiful. Let's see what else we've got. Four of Wands. Six of Swords. Beautiful energy to have at the center of your reading, Virgo. Beautiful. And there's our Nine of Cups again. That tells us this is significant. This Nine of Cups is very significant for you. The Empress. The Empress. Ooh, Three of Swords. Queen of Swords. And there's our Eight of Swords again. Oh, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, Eight of Swords. Worries, fears, anxieties. Almost to the point where you're losing sleep. Possibly you are losing sleep. 
Um, when the Eight of Swords appears, Virgo, the most important thing to remember about the Eight of Swords, and this energy is surrounding your entire reading, so we have this negative undertone associated with all this positive movement. There's internally for you all this stuff that's happening that seems to be happening so great and so wonderful in your life, Virgo. You're questioning it. Is it too good to be true? Is this person too good to be true? Is this direction I'm moving in my life too good to be true? What's the catch? What is it? Why is this happening to me right now? It's almost like you feel like you're not worthy of this. There's just this overall sense of just worries and fears, and there's the anxiety I was feeling with the cards. Um, it's a very tough energy. You being stuck, you're really, really questioning, questioning everything there. All right, put a little piece of selenite on it, remove the negativity. Central to your reading, we have you moving to calmer waters. By the light of the moon, through the worries and the anxieties, because we have the moon can bring confusion and anxiety, but through the confusion and anxiety, you're going to lay down all of your mental worries and, and troubles in order to move forward. You're still going to hold on to some of them because those are eight swords here. We have six swords here. So there's a couple things you're not going to be able to let go of and you're going to need to in order to move forward. But there's, there's a majority of things you're going to be able to kind of let go and say, okay, I'm strong, I'm capable, I can handle this, I, I can face whatever I'm facing in my life, and now it's time for a fresh new start. Releasing the anxiety, releasing the worries and moving forward confidently into your future, which is beautiful. But you're still leaving two swords behind, so there's something you're holding on to you really need to let go of. Maybe this heartbreak, because we, we have three swords here. Two are you and the other person being brokenhearted, and one is the relationship being broken. And so it's possible that what you're holding on to is the heartbreak. What you're holding on to is a person who's not in your life anymore, Virgo. This is grief. This is sadness. This is deep heartbreak. This is, you know, I mean, here's two black roses. It's entirely grief. But yet you have a new beginning with our Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning. Despite the grief. Despite the heartache, there is a new beginning. This particular opportunity is only going to be available to you if you seize it. It's almost like, you know, our gypsy girl here is dangling, and I use the term gypsy in a fun way. I'm not, like, referring derogatorily towards anybody. I just really love the headdress. It kind of has that sort of look to it, that sort of appeal. And so she's holding the the pentacle in front of her face as if to say, Virgo, your opportunity is here if you want it, but you have to come get it. You have to take it. You have to seize your inner strength, your inner boldness, and go forward towards that opportunity. That opportunity could be a job situation, because we do have this financial stability moving forward. Or it could be a love situation, because we also have long-term committed partnership on this card. Could be something just simply brings you peace, because we do have peace in this card as well. Now, in your past, Virgo, we have somebody who exhibited the traits of the Queen of Wands. We've had the King of Wands come out for you twice in the pre-shuffle, and I feel it's significant to indicate that our Queen of Wands in our nine card spread is actually somebody other than you. So this is somebody in your past who is very, very friendly, very outgoing, very social, you know, the type of person who, um, it, it, it's that socialite energy, you know, they walk into a room and they've got this je ne sais quoi, it's just this, this like, this glow about them that people are drawn to. Sometimes it's in their smile, sometimes it's in their, 
you know, their personality. This could be a man or woman, doesn't matter. Um, but it, it's it's just something that draws other people to them because their their overall presence is delightful. It's magnetic. It's charismatic. So this is somebody who was in your life before. Maybe the person who you're heartbroken over. Because I do have that this was... This was some sort of long-term committed relationship with our Four of Wands here. It could have been a Twin Flame situation, but does not have to be. Um, the connection that you had with this person was very, very peaceful. Um, very, very passionate as well. There's a lot of passion there, a lot of peace. Uh, in general, this, is, this was somebody who you could talk to endlessly for hours. And who, if you were having a bad day or you had a bad moment, this person treated it with care and delicacy instead of this queen of swords energy we have over here so this person was just very 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 peaceful in your life and there was love here on both sides now we have the empress this also could have been the same person or it just could be representing the fact that in this connection that you had virgo this past connection there was a lot of love in this connection a lot of love, a lot of peace, a lot of harmony. But it was a cycle that had to pass on. This is somebody that you've broken up with. Somebody that you've either divorced, broken up with, and no longer in contact with, and you're feeling the sense of loss in their life. In your life, rather. I think I said their life. can't recall. So you go from love to heartbreak to this Queen of Swords energy, trying to gain clarity as to what happened here, trying to gain clarity on what it was that you had in your past so that you could also have it in your future, um, trying to gain clarity on, on you know how the two of you interacted so that you'll know how to use those life lessons in another, another area trying to gain clarity on what broke the two of you up. Why are you two not together? This could be a new person that's, com that's coming into your life. Le Virgo, I almost called you Leo, so you may be dealing with a Leo. Um, but this could be a new person that's coming into your life whose way is not like the Queen of Wands. <laughs> Queen of Wands, friendly, you know, social, happy, positive, optimist. And then we have not so optimistic, very cutting, very rude, very sharp in the way <laughs> they communicate. You know, I, 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 uh, I love the confidence and the directness of the Queen of, Wa uh, Queen of Swords. But the Queen of Swords is also very much, she, if she comes into a situation that she feels needs to change, she cuts everything out and, you know, very, 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 very harshly. She's our bitch card, for lack of a better phrase. Excuse my swearing. But she usually means well when she does it. I mean, she doesn't, she doesn't intentionally hurt somebody with her, her remarks. It just, it just happens. It's the way she is. She's quick to react, but she's really, really good at finding solutions to problems. So this person may be coming in to kind of shake you out of this heartbreak, Virgo. Shake you out of this heartbreak and help you to let go of those other two swords. The other, the things that you're not letting go of, that you're holding on to inside. You're trying to make that forward movement, but you're not letting go of something. I think that you're not letting go of this person and the relationship you had with this person. You may be comparing that with other connections. But this heartbreak, it's, it's an internal hurt. It's, a, it's a, a sense of grief and loss. If you did actually lose somebody and, and they are no longer of our world, my, my humblest sympathy to you for that. I, I couldn't imagine it. But this is a, a connection you're, you're holding on in your heart. You want to have wish fulfillment. You want to move forward and have happiness. You want to move forward and create once you, what you once had. You like a long-term committed relationship with somebody who makes you feel that peace, who makes you feel that sense of connection, somebody that you can build a really firm foundation with. 
you'd like that. You like this new opportunity, but I don't see you taking steps towards it. I see you taking steps towards your future. I'm not sure if you're going to be nabbing this opportunity that's come your way or not, because the heartbreak is getting in the way. But somebody's going to shake you out of your out of your um, sadness here, Virgo. I hope they're going to shake you out of your sadness in a good way rather, <laughs> rather than the rough way. Um, but there's going to be some sort of communication between you and this person that's like it, it just. It knocks you out of this this mindset of, of loss and grief and worries and fears over here. I'll put another piece of selenite on that. This, this particular crystal is uh, for removing negativities. So I put it on your Eight of Swords as well as on your Three of Swords. Maybe it'll help. All right. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, June 2019, please. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Alright, Virgo. Your light is shining brightly, reaching your destination. Okay, this is good. This is wonderful. This tells me you're going to be able to achieve this. But there's still a journey here, and there is some sort of guidance that you're receiving on making that move forward. You have your eyes set on that new, on having a long-term relationship, one that makes you feel on top of the world, one that makes you feel like you have everything. But there's some changes and in, in, in things that have to occur first. Now, as you see, this is a nighttime, this is a nighttime picture. So once again, you're moving towards forward by the light of the moon. You don't know how, you don't know what's going to happen, but you're just, you're moving forward. You have to. You have to take steps forward or else you remain stagnant. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Sun, moon, and rising signs. June 2019, please. Chaos and conflict. I feel like this is an internal conflict for you, Virgo. Because that's what we're seeing here. It's like you're not wanting to let go of the worries and the fears. You're not wanting to let go of this heartbreak and grief. You may have a lot of stuff going on in your life as well that's not not that's adding to this in a negative way. Um, there may be an internal conflict with allowing somebody else in your life because there's a feeling that if they come into your life, you have to let go of this person, this person. And this is somebody who had such a tremendous impact on you. You feel, you feel a sense of betrayal by replacing them with somebody else. Conflict. The conflict may be related to moving forward. Moving forward, you may feel a sense of guilt and moving far forward as well because of this connection. This connection. Oh. Virgo, 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 tough energies for you today. Virgo, 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 sun, moon, rising, June 2019, please. Okay. You deserve love. You are lovable. Bottom of the deck, free yourself. Time to take back control of your life. Virgo, it's time to free yourself from the heartbreak. It's time to free yourself from the worries and the fears. It's time to free yourself from the feeling of being locked and gripped in this sense of grief. Being unable to move forward. It's time for you to free yourself from that heartbreak. And you, you need to do so by loving yourself first and recognizing you deserve a new love. You deserve to, to have somebody come into your life. It's okay if they replace this this other person in your heart because this person had a profound impact on what you do and do not want in a relationship, in a, a solid, stable relationship. If you're currently in separation from a marriage right now and you're wanting to work it out, first and foremost, you need to understand that you deserve love. And you also need to free yourself from any hurts, anything that, that you're holding on to you can't let go of. All right, dear Virgo. Wow, sorry for the tough message. 
had to read what come, came out. But, my dear Virgo viewers, <laughs> if this is where we part ways for a while, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful month, and I'll see you in your next Virgo video. But for those of you that would like to di dive deeper into this particular spread and see what we can find out about this situation, you can join me over on Vimeo. There's a link down below for the extended reading, and I'll see you over there. I hope you have an absolutely fabulous day. Please, Virgo, work on getting rid of these worries, these fears, and this sense of grief, because everything else looks beautiful. It looks like you're going in a beautiful way. And Virgo, you are lovable. You deserve love. Have a great day. Well, I hope that reading had something that you could take from it that would help you with your the month of June. I hope you have an absolutely fabulous day. For those of you that are interested in the extended reading of this particular reading, there is a link down below. And for those of you interested in personal readings, don't forget that $20 off coupon code. Personal readings are about two to three weeks out right now. But um, visit my website, empressmoontarot.com for more information. Thanks again for stopping by. As always, have a beautiful and absolutely magnificent month. I'll see you again soon.